Good morning. So your money mission tip of the day today is a tip to save $900, maybe even $1,000 on a home search. So if you are in the market to buy a home and you're doing a home search, you know that there are costs involved with that. For instance, you have to get a home inspection done. You have to pay for an appraisal. Um, and then you also may need to get specialists to go through the home for you if the home inspection reveals uh, something that needs a little more research. If you're able to make the closing date a longer time period, meaning to say if you're able to push the closing date out further, that may enable you to save some money. And let me explain why. There are a lot of things that happen, you know, for those that aren't familiar, there are a lot of things that happen simultaneously uh, when you're under contract. So when you find a home that you're interested in and you go under contract is the term, uh, there's a period of time where you're not only looking at the home with a home inspection uh, to determine if it is a good fit for you, you know, if it doesn't have too many uh, faulty parts, but also there's a financing part that takes place. And with that, the lender is determining whether or not you're a good credit risk. One of the criteria is to do an appraisal on the property. Now, the appraisal entails a fee. And generally speaking, you have to pay it as the buyer. You also have to pay for a home inspection. If you're able to push the closing date out further, uh, or you're able to get the home inspection done very, very early, very close to that initial contract signing date, you can identify whether or not there are problems with the property early enough that you may want to walk away and not have to pay the appraisal fee. That appraisal fee normally can be anywhere between $900 and $1,000, maybe even more. Um, but if you have to pay that appraisal fee, it's good to know that you're not going to pay it or you don't have to pay it if you know that the property isn't what you're looking for based on the home inspection. So if you're able to either get that home inspection done much earlier uh, or push the closing date out further to give you more time, really to do a feasibility study uh, on the home and whether or not it's a good fit for you, uh, that can save you money, right? So that if you're looking at a particular house, you're only going to lose you know, the money that you put in the home inspection if you walk away and not have to pay for the home inspection and the appraisal uh, when you knew that you really didn't want to do it anyway. So keep this in mind. If you're able to essentially schedule each one of these events in a way that once you get to a decision point, you, you won't have to incur additional costs, that can save you a lot of money long term because you may look at several houses uh, before you make the decision to actually go through with buying one. Please post a question or a comment. Send me a private message if you want to talk about it privately. Remember, don't be in a rush to buy a house right now. Uh, if you want to buy one, if you find one that's a good fit, that's great, but don't feel like you have to get in uh, because more than likely we're going to see lower prices ahead. Like I said, please post a question or a comment, and until next time, I wish you unlimited success.